If you're a coach, consultant, info product seller, or an agency providing services, and you struggle with signing high paying clients, you need to copy this now before your competitors catch on. I'm All right. So allegedly, this is a funnel for growth operators that is uh, bringing in a, a what was it, thirty nine thousand dollars and some change in less than thirty eight days. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip away all of the complex stuff because. Uh, personally, I have a course called No Funnels Fortunes, and I'm not trying to sell anything or anything like that. Uh, but you don't need a funnel. You don't need all this complex stuff. So we're going to go over this. And I believe he's making this money, man. And I'm proud of him and everything like that. But I want you guys to learn how to simplify your processes. This will allow you to scale it up. Maybe put a zero, another zero behind that 39,000. But pretty good in 30 days, right? So let's keep going. I'm going to be explaining the funnel that made $39,000 in 38 days for one client without running any paid ads at all. All right. So what I do like about this, guys, uh, is that uh, <laughs> they didn't have to do any like paid traffic. Uh, they didn't have to run any ads or anything like that. And it's about doing it with one client. So. I would prefer for you guys to get partners. So in the agency to partner program, we teach you how to partner with local businesses. It's similar to what these dudes are talking about, but we pretty much teach you how to buy into them without using cash. So you can get things like equity. You can do the uh, hybrid payment model. So you can get paid some type of monthly situation plus percentages and commissions. Plus we teach you 10 different monetization methods of like plugging into a local business that way you do only need one partner you can get to 250k per month with one partner so this is similar to growth marketing but uh me and my partner we call it the cinderella right the center we'll talk about that later let's keep going cool and uh this is the exact funnel that i'm going to be showing you guys okay i spent the last few days mapping and designing out the sales funnel for you to copy and if you truly, truly take the time to watch this video in full, to firstly understand and most importantly, implement this funnel, I guarantee you will make more money. So let's get into it. Um, here's all of the receipts. It's mainly in New Zealand dollars because my client is based in New Zealand. But if you convert you know, these numbers into USD, it would come out to $39,000. Okay, so first thing I'm noticing right here, is the screenshots and uh, screenshots are cool, bro, you know, but people would rather see like video or the client themselves, like screenshots that was popping in the early, you know, maybe in the like teens, you know, like from like 2011 to 2000, like 18, 19, people were okay with just seeing screenshots. But if you're actually trying to get people to join your uh, program or whatever it is to copy this funnel or whatever, they would much rather see the client themselves speaking for themselves. Like if you look on my channel, you'll see a plethora of testimonials, all these people that I've helped and everything like that. And they're voicing it out of their own mouths and they can show you their results. So you know that they actually have a business rather than just a screenshot. So I'm not saying guys that he's not actually doing this, or whatever what i'm saying i'm trying to give advice to anybody that is a coach watching this right now or trying to sell something right now people want video now like i mean think about it like websites perform better when they have a lot of video on there right uh you know infomercials or video like people want to want to hear the people speak about their experience rather than you just showing the screenshot of what could be right Okay, so let's keep it so going. So the three simple processes to our success is uh, number one, generating traffic. So, you know, getting eyeballs from social media platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, uh, whatever it may be. The first process is generating traffic. Then with those eyeballs, what you want to do is you want to nurture them. So for people to buy, they need to know, like, and trust you. So I will explain later on how we nurture those leads. All right, so pause. This is the reason why, let me blow this up real quick. This is the reason why that um, 39,000 is not 390,000 instead because of this process of nurturing the leads right here. So his first step generating traffic was proper. 
That's exactly what you want to do, right? I have a formula. The formula is traffic plus irresistible offer equals money. We want to keep it simple. The scripture says there's simplicity in Christ. Albert Einstein says the person that is a genius is not a genius because he can make things sound complex and people can't understand it. But a genius is one that can take something complex and simplify it to where a kid can understand it. You understand? That's a genius. It's not about you being able to make the money. It's about can you teach others to make the money? Like, for example, if you go and look at the uh, the testimonials on my channel, even though I tell you stop watching testimonials and become one, you will notice a recurring theme. All of them got money fast. Why? Because it was copy and paste simple. OK, that's what you want. So all of these extra steps of nurturing leads and everything, the nurturing of the leads should go in step one, which is generating the traffic. So what do I mean by that? Obviously, this guy is a content generator uh, or a content creator. He understands he has a, a YouTube channel. He's trying to uh, create leads out of you guys watching. Right. So he understands the importance of content creation. What I would do. Right. And what I do do is I use that content creation for everything. It entices them. It builds the trust. It uh, uh, gets them to know, like, and trust me, and it nurtures them. And then when they're ready, what they can do, if you guys notice, if you've ever been a customer of mine or a client or a partner of mine, you know that most of the time I don't even send you to a website. Most of the time I send you straight to a PayPal button, an invoice, or I tell you to text me and we'll collect your payment. We barely even send people to our landing pages. Why? Because the content is supposed to do all of that, right? So that's why I'm talking about all these complex funnels, guys. And I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about just period when it, it makes them look as if they know what they're talking about. It makes them look as if they have experience when they break it down visually and make it look good with the mind maps on here and everything. Uh, but all of these steps become complex to you to the point to where you feel like you need them in order to succeed. Right. So I'm not trying to blast anybody out. I'm just showing you guys how it works. If you see all these steps, you start believing, oh, I can't do this on my own. I need to get this coaching program and all of that. But I give you I, on my channel. I tell you all exactly how to do this stuff and you still sign up with me. Right. So don't upbraid knowledge, guys, and don't make things seem as uh, uh, more complex than they really are. You'll get all that trust. The reason why people sign up to my programs is because they trust me through the content. A lot of you guys will tell them, yo, when we get on a call, I'll show you how it works. <laughs> right. Like, but then they have this fear of how much it costs. A lot of you guys won't tell them that until they get on the call. On my channel, you see exactly how much my programs cost. And I tell you exactly how everything works, even if you don't sign up with me. So that is what gets people to trust me enough to drop thousands of dollars with me, even though I'm a complete stranger, because they know that what they're going to get before they like take take the leap. All right. So let just just, you know, I wanted to just say that part right here. Generating traffic. That's exactly what you want to do. OK. But the next step should have been the irresistible offer because the nurturing of the leads, we don't care about leads. We care about profit. That's why the name of my agency is Profit Positioning Agency, my, my supposed marketing agency. Profit, we don't care about no revenue. We don't care about no nurturing of leads. They can spend all the time they want popping popcorn on my freaking channel if they want to getting to know me, watching years. I've been on here since 2015, guys. So what you want to do is you want to create a catalog, right? That these people can go through step by step and everything like that. Like get all the information they need and tell them, don't reach out to me until you're ready. It's okay. Oh, you expect me to just sign up when I don't even know you? No, guess what? <laughs> don't waste my time. Don't waste yours. Oh, I just called you so I can get more, more uh, information on this. It's more information on my channel. See, this is what you guys don't understand. You need to, need to make a list of all of the fears, skepticisms, desires, and pleasures, and all of that, that your potential clients, partners, or customers are experiencing. And then you just flood your niche with the answers to all of that. Create daily FAQs. And just constantly be making it clear that you're the authority on this 
And then when they finally reach out to you, they already know. They're like, yo, where do I pay it? That's what I've experienced, guys. I don't have to, and my students don't have to create complex funnels. But let's continue because it might be something good in this. It might be something good in this. So let's continue. Then the third and most important process of our success is actually converting the leads, right? You can have all the leads in the world, but if you don't convert them, you're not going to make money. So I will explain everything we do to convert these leads at scale. Okay. So first of all, one thing I want to point out, um, you guys seem to be attracted to people that have foreign accents and everything, uh, British, New Zealand, and, and all of those type of people. Um, and I don't know why, maybe it's James Bond movies or whatever. Uh, it seems to, um, influence you guys. It seems to make you think that, yo, they, they sound professional. They have, they sound English and proper and all of that. So they must know what they're doing. Guys perception is a dang on beast. You need to learn about perception guys. Let's hear what he just said. He simply said, that I'm going to show you how to convert these leads. But, and this is not me calling them out or anything. I'm trying to teach you guys to see, right? You're seeing, but you're not perceiving. The name of the video is $39,000 off of one client. So he might not be an, might not. Maybe he's just pointing out one of his success stories. It could be, but you guys got to really pay attention to the titles and the information that's being given before you just like just assume that just because somebody is uploading something, they're an authority in something. It says off of one client. This could be his first client. This could be somebody he knows. Right. So so I hope he's an expert at converting leads, guys. Uh, but I just want you guys to be safe and, and watch out and really vet people like you guys vet me. This is why I put out so much content. Is why every video has a testimonial attached to it. So I don't have to hear none of the skeptics, uh, skeptic crap. You guys vet me. So make sure you vet everybody. <laughs> don't just be like, oh man, you got the UK accent. Yeah, he must really have some clients. No, 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 no. Don't, don't be a fool. You hear me? Like I've coached other coaches and I've went to their channels and they presented as if they were getting clients a lot and they were coming to me to learn how to get clients. So just pay attention guys i'm not saying that's him but just pay attention okay so, from the entire funnel let's start on generating traffic right so the goal here is to generate as much traffic as possible of our ideal audience to funnel into the dms that's the exact funnel that we're doing we're doing a dm funnel and um yeah i mean it's made us a little bit of money right so the first traffic source we use um, out of, you know, all of this. So it's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. The first one we use is YouTube. Guys, this is by far like the most powerful social media platform you can use. Now, I agree with him on that. Yeah. I definitely agree with him on that. This is definitely the most powerful, like, lead generator, right? We have Google, but Google owns YouTube as well. And when you combine the search uh, engine power, and technology of Google with video, you're going to convert crazy. So if you can position yourself as an authority, whether you have an agency, a marketing agency, or you have a product or service or something like that, guys, like if you can position yourself as an authority over video, show, not just tell, show, not just tell, then you is unlimited possibilities, man. You can make so much money. So I agree with the dude on uh, YouTube. Like, TikTok is awesome for going viral, vanity metrics, and if you are trying to be just a content creator and not have an agency or something like that, then it's definitely the platform to go after if you just like easily trying to go viral all the dang on time just to show people, right? But if you're trying to get clients that actually pay, not saying that you can't get clients from TikTok. What I'm saying is the more simplistic way, the more like to me, I is guaranteed to me just based off of the search traffic, the search volume and how it works on YouTube. Like, you know, people are searching for stuff. So if you show up for that particular keyword and it's an action based keyword it's a buyer's intent keyword, if you show up for that, then you pretty much as long as you have a, a decent pro, uh, product or service that's not pure trash, you're pretty much going to get the sale, man. So <laughs> YouTube. 
I agree with on it. I would say YouTube is the best because the videos you can make on YouTube can be like extremely value packed and the videos are long. So the people that watch your videos really get to know, like, and trust you. So for this class specifically, so he just proved my point. That's exactly what I just said a minute ago about the nurturing leads side of things, guys. Uh, instead of forcing them to a call and all of that stuff when you're trying to like close these clients, guys, like make them spend more time on your videos. Think about it. Come on, man. How much sense does it make to force them to a call when they'll know you when you spent all that time scripting your video, editing your video? He just said that he put like he spent days putting together this little uh, presentation right here. So why rush them to call you when they still not ready yet? I want to like drain the value out of the videos. This takes away from my time with my children and my, and my wife. I don't have, I'm not doing this for my health. I want people to watch the freaking videos. Don't call me unless you watch the freaking videos. Don't text me. Don't DM me. Don't do none of that if you haven't watched the freaking videos. <laughs> like y'all trying to get people. To, I'm just filling up my calendar so that you can show it on YouTube that you got a whole bunch of bookings. But that doesn't mean you're making a bunch of money. And that doesn't mean the people are signing up and buying for the price point that you want because you're rushing them. If they spent all the time getting to know you, watching your testimonials, watching your breakdowns and your formulas and all of that stuff, when you tell them 10K, if they got 10K, they shouldn't be like, oh, well, maybe I should go back and you know look a little bit more. If you're hearing that on your coaching calls, if you're hearing that on your closing calls, I mean, then that means you rushed the process. I don't care if they spend two, three, four years watching my content. Cause I've had people say that like they spend four years. I've been watching you since this year. And I'm just, I'm like, yo, you just not taking action. They like, yeah, man, that's fine with me. Cause I'm much rather that than them call me as soon as they watch one video excited, but not sure. And when I tell them the price, I'm all nervous to tell them the price. Cause they don't know me yet. When I, when, when I was closing people over the phone, I would ask them, how much of my content have you seen? Oh, yeah, man, I just sent that video you uploaded today. Oh, well, you know, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> That's me. I will talk to you later, dude. Like, if you're just now meeting me and seeing me, unless you approach me with the, hey, where do I pay? Then I'm going to send you back because I don't have time to convince you I'm the real deal. That's what he's talking about with all that nurturing the leads. Over a, a, a certain amount of days, they're going to be sending them stories and follow up emails and DMs and convincing them that this is the right move for them. I don't have time to baby people and, t and preach to them that this is the right move for them and they should take the leap. No, go back and watch all the testimonials. Go back and watch all the breakdowns, the formulas, the structured videos and convince yourself that is right to help yourself. And then when you're ready, you can sign up to copy and paste rentals, which is only 97 bucks. You can join the 15 days to 15 K challenge, which is only 1500 bucks, right? Like you can do the AJ VIP product creation program, which is only 2,500. You can do any one of them things, but don't come to me if you're not sure, because I'm just going to tell you to go back and watch more videos about it until you're ready. This is why infomercials went on for 30 minutes. If you stayed up watching infomercials at night, you'll notice that the mugs are 30 minutes and they just repeat the same video over and over for 30 minutes to answer all your questions, get all the skepticisms out. And then they put the little 800 number in there so you can call. It's an order number. You call the order, not to ask questions. Keep watching the, uh, uh, the infomercial over and over until you're ready to call me in order. That's how your YouTube videos should be. Keep creating valuable content. Answer all their questions. Tell them exactly how it goes. Don't hold nothing back just because you're trying to sell something to them. If they want to buy from you, they're going to buy from you whether you told them the entire formula or not. Right? So, Plus specifically, yeah, cool. uh, what I helped them do was post more content about you know student success interviews. So this built trust and relatability with the audience. Mainly tr the trust part, we want them to know that we've gotten results for other people before and also like in the YouTube description, right? So at the end of all this content, we make a call to action for them to DM the creator grow uh, for the Okay, so with this growth operator model, what they do is they partner with um, 
somebody with minimal celebrity status on social media, uh, like, you know, an influencer, maybe a fitness influencer, maybe a make money online influencer, maybe a philosophy, a great speaker, motivational speaker, influencer, right? And, and I love this business model, right? Excuse me, because it leverages the uh, what the creator already built. So that's why I like the growth creator business model because it allows for you to not have to build from scratch. All you do is you partner with someone that already has a, a, an audience and they already have influence. So you want to check their engagement in their posts and you want to check like all of that extra stuff. If they don't have their own product and if they don't have their own community, they're a perfect uh, potential partner, right? So what happens is you go and build the community and the back end structure and the sales pages and all of that extra stuff for them, right? Uh, and you go and build a community and all of that stuff. And what's going to happen in the community, maybe 30 to 90 days of content that can be scheduled out. And you set it up when they're going to be doing Q and A's inside the community. If you're going to be doing interviews in the community and all the treats that's going to happen inside the community, right? And then you'll use their audience. Uh, or, or you get them to create content strategically for their audience, kind of like a launch sequence, letting their audience know on this specific date, this is when we're going to open up the community, the private community, a place for just us. You understand where we can level up as men and become better versions of ourselves and all of this extra stuff and make a lot of money and all of that. Boom. So when they launch, they have to split whatever you guys agree to. Maybe you get 20% or 30% of whatever they uh, they make in the sales. And if you're cold with it, you might even be able to get 50% of it, right? Because you, even though they had the community and I mean, even though they had the audience already, they didn't have a real good way of monetizing. There's a lot of creators out there that just got a huge following and don't like, they still work a nine to five job, have no idea how to turn their audience into money, right? So that's the value that a growth uh, operator brings to uh, an influencer or a content creator, guys. And it doesn't just have to be like, a, a you know, a YouTuber or an Instagrammer, dude. It can be a local business that has their own audience online. Maybe they do videos of them, uh, you know, fixing plumbing and making jokes and doing all of that stuff, right? They still have an audience, right? So you can create a community, you know, for other plumbers or a community of people that want to become licensed plumbers and need to know how to go about it and all of that. So that's just pretty much how it goes if you don't know what growth operating uh, the growth operator model is guys. So this is why he's talking about, he gets the creator to post content and then the people will DM and all of that stuff when they want to take for action. their high ticket offer. So this is exactly what the YouTube description looks like. Uh, I've made it like I've templatized it, if that's even a word so that you can go ahead and copy and paste this for your own business, for your own offer, whatever you may be doing. It could be DM me keyword on Instagram, you know, you want to put in the username for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship uh, with my most up-to-date strategies and methods, making X person $11,000 plus per month, obviously. Okay, so this is what I like about this situation right here. The fact that uh, they're automating it, okay? So a lot of people in their Instagram uh, and TikToks and YouTubes, they'll tell you to uh, look at the, th the link in the bio, especially on Instagram, look at the link in the bio. It still kind of works on YouTube, Right. But on Instagram and TikTok and stuff, people will sell you to check out the link in the bio. But what happens with that is those platforms are trained to not really send a lot of traffic to that video if you're trying to send people off of the platform. So now what they have is uh, automations and different softwares like AI softwares like mini chat and build all and all of that, where if you tell a person to comment, comment this spe uh, specific word and then check your DMs, okay? Comment the specific word. So when they comment it, like the, the software will automatically send them a templated message with your irresistible offer in it or something like that. And you can set up the, like the chatbot automations to even conversate with them further than just sending them the offer, right? So this is this makes it easier on the the growth operators part since, since they, um, you know, stated that they're going to handle all of the back-end operations and sales and stuff for the growth for the creator i mean right so 
automations, you definitely want to implement automation. These pages up to fit your offer. Um, the avatar, this is like the type of person. So they could be like a trainer, fitness trainer, uh, whatever your avatar may be. You just want to put it in there. Make it very, very obvious who your target audience is and who you want. You don't want just random people messaging you that aren't. And that's true. That's why I said get your message right. Right? Everything begins with your message and your mission. So if you have your message and your mission clear, uh, your sheep, like Christ says, his sheep will hear his voice. Your audience will be drawn to you naturally. All right? SEO is awesome and all of that stuff too. But you can weed out people that are not serious about working with you based off of how clear you make your message and your mission, okay? You see doctor's offices and all of that, they have their mission statement. You see businesses, they have their slogans, their company slogans and mission statements. That's what you wanna have for your business as well and for your content creator or influencer that you're partnering with, okay? Uh, your target audience because you can't really give them value and in turn, you can't get money from them. Then. The best thing I've seen on her so far uh, is showcases case studies for social proof. OK, so remember earlier when I was talking about uh, when he was talking about the no like and trust you. This part right here will make it to where you don't have to nurture leads. Right. So what I mean by that is, OK, so let's say you become a lead front for his creator. Right. After that, they're going to be sending you sh uh, sh uh, showcases, case studies and testimonials and all of that for a couple of days. Then they're going to try to get you on a call again. But if his original content included just like this right here, you see this format that he's using right here for us. This format let's let's blow it up. This format right here is a case study. So if all of his content had some blend like this with the case studies, with the testimonials, with the breakdowns of how it worked, if every video had that same formula, it would be no need for like some lead nurturing process over a couple of days. Let them just watch the original content and it includes the case studies and includes the testimonials and includes the uh, scientific breakdown of why it works and all of that. So by the time they reach out to you, you didn't cut a few steps. You don't need to showcase studies or testimonials anymore. You don't need to get them on a call to explain to them how it works. I haven't been on a call to close a sale in a long time because I make them watch the content and they know exactly how it works. When they reach out, they already like telling me how it works. They're like, yo, I want to do this because I understand this part, this part right there, that part right here. That's what I like to freaking hear because then I know that they can get results and I know I can get the sale, right? I want them to be able to get results. If they don't understand it, if they got to call me and ask me how it works, yeah, I can probably get the sale, but they, they're probably not going to become a success story for me. What's more important, the success story or are you getting the initial sale? The success story is what's going to bring you a mountain of sales. So the more of those you get, the, the easier it becomes to get those you might not even have to get on calls anymore, guys. Lead with clarity, right? Once, well, okay, so they say uh, wealth is attracted to speed, right? I say that money is instant when clarity meets, uh, uh, um, when clarity meets the customer, right? Like when clarity meets the customer, like the money is instant. Right. Because there's been a lot of things you were interested in, in in your life, but you procrastinated on them because you didn't have full clarity of either how it was going to benefit you or how it worked. But the moment somebody was able to give you that clarity, you was like, oh, yeah, let's do it. And that's the mo that's what you want to bring those uh, those potential customers to with your creator that you partner with. You want to bring them to the moment of clarity and you do that with formulas in your content. Think about it. Don't be a hypocrite. You're about to partner with a, with a content creator and be their growth creator, but you don't even know. You don't have a video format. You don't have a formula, a structure to where they don't, you or them don't have to do any back end work as far as sales. Your videos should be structured to where it's clear how it works why it works, it addresses skepticisms and insecurities. Uh, um, it has the, it answers the, well, how do I know this works? And then it answers the, how do I know it's gonna work for me? That's what your content should do. That way, when they reach out, they are ready, 
Okay, let's move on. You know, all of these people just comment the keyword to receive the lead magnet. In the video itself, just make it extremely valuable. It could be talking head, day in life, whatever yeah. it may be. You just want to have a juicy video and then end it with a call to action so that people know what to do next. The, the way I did it and the way that you know best worked for me was setting a lead magnet. It's very low friction and everyone likes free stuff, right? So a lot of people are going to opt in. In this case, 263 comments were made in in this uh, specific video that I just screenshotted. Um. Okay, first let's reprogram. Let's pr reprogram everybody watching this right now, guys. And this is not his fault. Look how young he is, you can tell, right? Uh, he's just going off of what he's been taught. So, but we have to break the cycle. You guys are making sales so difficult, okay? You're making sales so difficult. It's okay to give away something free, but I would give away something free in two occasions. The first occasion, if I'm being Christ-like, I'll give away something free because my true intentions are to help the people. Like I could care less if I'm going to convert them. I don't, I don't want to give away something free with the intentions of trying to convert them to something paid later. Trust me, it's way more, uh, it's way easier to convert somebody to a higher ticket sale that's already paid you before. But it's, it's extremely difficult if they their initial meeting for you uh was you talking about how you want to just give them something for free just out of the kindness of your heart and then you say oh yeah you know we got this right that's what lead magnets are guys they're they're like bait and switch a little bit and trust me i was guilty of this too and 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 you know i understand right but if i do a free trial i let people know it's a free trial now why? Because guess what? If you get 100 people to sign up to your free trial, you all excited because at the end of the free trial is going to be $97 for them people. A huge flood of those 100 people are going to fall off when they realize, oh, snap, the free trial is almost up. And it's telling me I got to pay this $97. He didn't say that in the video. So lead magnets, they're not deception, but they're not clarity unless you like let them know later on I might sell you something. Let them know in the videos, guys. Give them your true intention. Later on, I might sell you something. Because I'd rather have 100 people that know that they're going to be paying me 97 bucks than uh, 50 of those people talking about, oh, snap, I just got this email that says in three days I'm going to be charged. I didn't know that. I thought this was just free. Okay? So all of this lead magnet stuff, like I said, if you give the bulk of your value, give the bulk of your free in the content. This is why we do long form uh, videos, like super in detailed and expl explana uh, explanations. Uh, this is why we do interviews a lot, right? Because interviews get to go deep into how stuff works and the history behind it and why it works and all of that. That way, when people reach out to me, I don't need to give them no free lead magnet. If I want to give somebody something free, then I'll just give them something free. If they come back and work with me a little bit later, cool, right? But if I'm giving them something away for free and I plan on selling them something later, tell them that, guys. Why? Because you're going to convert way more people when you do present the, the paid offer to them. So all of these 263 people that, that commented um, um, that they wanted the free lead magnet, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I don't know the price of what they're selling and I don't know their, their offer. Maybe they have an irresistible offer and they can like convert like, almost all of them, but I don't want to maybe, I don't want an, if I'm going to win, I want to know when I'm going to win. And if you are extremely transparent with these 263 people, guys, I'm going to send you this uh, book for free inside. The book is going to have an opportunity for you to join our $15,000 uh, mastermind. You can either still take the free book or not. Right? So some people are going to go and get the book anyway, but at least they, they're not going to be thrown off thinking I'm just some good Samaritan when they run into <laughs> feeling betrayed when they run into my upsell. Like, oh, snap. I thought, you know, this book was awesome. I didn't know he was trying to just get me into his program. No, I'm going to let him know this book is free. The book is going to explain exactly why and what's going to happen at the mastermind. And it's going to give you value. It's going to give you clarity so that even if you don't do the mastermind, you're still able to walk away knowing more than what you knew. But at least when, when they see the 15K, they're not thrown off. They're not thrown off. And I'm going to get a higher percentage of people that signs up to my 15K mastermind. 
You see what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but it's just bad teaching, guys. There's no such thing as bad students. There's a such thing as bad teachers. And, uh, well, actually, I learned that from Cobra Kai. That's not actually true. It is a whole bunch of bad students. See, you can be programmed even when you're not <laughs> realizing it, right? <laughs> There's definitely some bad students, right? The ones that don't take action. But my point is, he's been programmed, and a lot of you guys have been programmed for all of this free and then charge stuff. No. If you're going to give away something free, like completely free, no strings attached and stuff, then do that. People, your your flock will hear your voice. Like, they will hear you. So if they enjoy that freebie that you gave them, they will seek you out on their own. You don't have to attach any string or some some behind the scenes trick to get them to buy something for you. They're going to say, damn, I enjoyed that free lead magnet. What do you have for sale? And that's what I get, right? When I give away something free is, is, is free. If it's a free trial, I'm going to tell you is a free trial. Okay. Um, half of this is going to be like the creator replying, uh, how we actually sent out these, you know, lead magnets is through many chat. So we've set it up on many chat in a way where as soon as they, comment the keyword, we will automatically send them the lead magnet, right? And then and that saves a lot of time. And then from there, we will nurture them into a booked call and then close them on the call. But um, so here we go again. And this is why a lot of people sell off their agencies, guys. This is why a lot of people, all these people that are, have agencies, they end up selling them off because they don't know how to properly productize a service. You have to learn how to productize your service in order to scale without going crazy. So all of these extra steps that he's put in here, it won't stop him from getting the sale eventually, but it will piss him off. It will make him exhausted and frustrated. It will make him eventually want to sell this dang on, uh, um, sell his agency. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, uh, why would I get frustrated or exhausted when I'm going to have the virtual assistants on the closing calls and nurturing the leads and all of that? Well, because this, if you've never hired anybody before <laughs> and the way you guys are taught, you're taught to go after $2, $3 virtual assistants. No, $2, $3 virtual assistants are going to be coming to you, asking you all the questions that the people are on that are on the call are going to be asking you. And it's going to take you weeks and maybe even months to train them properly to where they never have to come back and ask you questions. So you, you're you going to have this thought in your head, well, I might as well do the dang on closing calls. Then you're going to go back and doing the closing calls, get exhausted again, frustrated, hire another virtual assistant, get pissed at them because they don't know how to do it. <laughs> and then you're going to give up. That's how it works. This is why a lot of people are stuck at $10,000 a month because of their uh, inability to be able to delegate properly or productize their service. Guys, guys and gals, if you want to hire, you need to hire the best people that have a history of working in an agency and doing the whole fulfillment situation. Oh, but that's going to cut into my profit margins. Yes, it is. And like I said, this is why a lot of people sell off their agencies, right? So what you want to do is you want to partner properly with these business owners, but you want to productize the service. All the prices, you need, you need to start making it to where their prices are all the same so that you only have to train VAs or softwares on specific scenarios and you will be able to automate entire processes uh, KPIs and, and, and SOPs, all of that extra stuff will be like either simplified or eliminated if you productize the service properly. So all of these steps he's talking about, guys, it's just, it'll get you some money, right? But I'm not trying to nurture. No, 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 no. Do you have to, does Walmart have to nurture you when you walk in there to, to get a, a dehumidifier? <laughs> Or, or, or go food shopping at all these. Do all these have to nurture you on an email list or something like that? When you walk into Walmart, do, have, do they have to get like, hold on, go back outside. Let me call you, give you a consultation before you come in here and buy these boxes of cereal. Do they have to do that? No. What they do is they nurture you through their commercials, through word of mouth, through uh, their brand presence and all of that stuff. This is what you need to be working on as an agency, as a growth operator or whatever you are. 
You need to be working on positioning your brand as a trusted brand through your content, answering all questions, making it without a shadow of a doubt that you can solve the problems and the issues that these people have. That eliminates it. You want your experience to be as if they're just walking in a convenience store to buy what they need, as if they're just walking in Walmart to buy what they need, what they need. Right. Why is it? So you guys have trained all of these dang on business owners that they need to get on a call with us first. This is why it's difficult for everybody to get sales, because you guys are telling them about free consultations all damn day. No. Do you need a free consultation to go and buy your wedding dress? No, you don't. You just go size yourself up and you buy it. Do you need a free consultation to go buy a flat screen TV? No, you don't. You just go in there and you buy it. All the hard work was done through the commercials and all of that stuff. That's what you guys need to become efficient. You understand? You need to become a dang on superhero with content so that you can, you don't have to hire anybody for nurturing. You don't have to buy any software for nurturing. They'll buy straight from your freaking content. That's what you want. Even if it's an agency, like an agency too? Yes. If you're trying to get into freaking plastic surgeons and everything, then freak. Create content geared to plastic surgeons. Give them everything they need in the content. Make them watch it over and over. Put that video on spin cycle before you reach out to me. That's how you productize your freaking agency or whatever it is right there. Put it on freaking like repeat. I had a plastic surgeon cash app me $3,000 cash app. Cash app. He didn't go to a landing page. That was the first time I realized I didn't need a landing page. That was the first time I didn't need to sit there and convince or get on some dang on call all day and show them how it works and all that. I'm like, hold on. So he said, yeah, me and my girlfriend been watching your video all night. We watched it at least 10, 12 times. That's when I realized, hold on. So if I just make them consume everything we're going to talk about on the freaking video, in, I mean, on the call anyway, like I could just make, get, create a playlist for them, send them that, like, here, <laughs> playlist, here, just watch that, binge watch that, get you some popcorn with your friends, your girlfriend, your other colleagues, whatever, just binge watch that. You'll learn my genius in there. You'll learn the benefits through this playlist right here. Oh, well, I ain't got time to watch it. I just wanted to get on a quick call with you. Well, you're not serious about this. Because everything that I'm going to say on the call with you is what I'm saying in the freaking video. I ain't got time to be a puppet or, or something on drawstring doll that's just going to keep on repeating itself. No, you can repeat a video and then send me money when you're done. OK, so that's how the agency should go if you want to keep an agency. Right. Right. So the same thing with your with your let's say that you got the growth operator. Um, um, business model. You need to productize their services or their, and everything like that. So they have a, a service. You need to uh, find one of their services that they do all the time, that is easy for them to do, that gives them good profit margins, and that you can make it to where it costs the same no matter who it is. For example, teeth whitening for dentists. If you wanted to be a growth operator, go out to teeth whitening. Like That can be the same price for everybody who ever comes in there, right? But but braces, braces could get more money, sure, but it's more difficult to scale. It has a longer sales cycle. Guess what? You can sell you can sell the kits, the fitting kits for the veneers and all of that stuff that can be shipped out in the mail and everything. Productize the service and the fulfillment. Okay, so okay, I'm a, I'm gonna torture y'all a little bit more. With it. Let's see what else he got. Let's see. And so. The goal here is to nurture leads to book a call with our closers to close the deal. You know, how we did this was we placed and trained setters to nurture hundreds of leads a day into booked calls. This right here is from our... First of all, this sounds like a freaking headache, okay? So I like the little dude right here, Pauls, you understand? Um, growth operators, your business model is supposed to be more simplistic than the typical agency model. You're taking away the 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 freaking standard stationary stagnant uh retainer you understand unless you're doing a hybrid model you're taking that taking away uh that but you're still keeping the same processes you're still getting clients the exact same way as when you just had a regular marketing agency 
it's still going to be a freaking headache. And now you're going to be doing more work. Even though you get to bring it down to like one uh, client or partner or whatever, you're still going to wear your dang on self out. He's, he's still talking about hiring sitters. I mean, setters, appointment setters. Why are you hiring appointment setters? Why are you hiring appointment setters, <laughs> right? Why are you nurturing leads? It don't make any sense. That sounds like a regular marketing agency to me. No, the same way you're going to get, the same way you're getting customers right here with this video to sign up for your marketing course is the same way that you need to be getting uh, your growth partner, the business owner, you need to be getting his sales the same damn way through the content only. Don't need to put, we booking a whole bunch of calls. That sounds like a headache. Now check this out. This is how you do it. And this is why affiliate marketers win over agencies, okay? Because they understand systems, how to systematize a product, they understand. So what do I mean by that? You got these sitters, right? Which shouldn't even be sitters. Setters, I mean. Why you got setters? If they're going, if the people are watching your content, they can go straight to a booking calendar, right? If they can go straight to a booking calendar, they can book themselves, right? Oh my God, that's just a foreign concept. If they can book themselves, that means you can set specific dates, correct, right? And there's features that will allow these booking calendars to book multiple people for the same time, right? Oh my God, you're gonna be talking to them about the same thing on the calls. All of those people, right? Oh my God, wouldn't it make sense to talk to them all at once? What's that called, a webinar? Oh, oh, oh my God, nobody, nobody thought to do this in the growth operator space or in a marketing agency space, but affiliate marketers, they get it. Why are you gonna repeat yourself all the time? Well, each business is different. No, it's not. The lingo changes, their price point changes, but every business is the same when you understand that the formula is traffic plus irresistible offer equals money. So what I would do if I was partnering with a, 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 a business owner or a creator is I would have them create all this super enticing, engaging, thorough, clarity bringing content I would get them to do the call to action, the same call to action that you're talking about. You ain't got to change everything. And when, when people uh, comment what they're going to comment on Instagram or TikTok, when they get the DM, it's sending them an invitation. <laughs> it's sending them an invitation to a freaking uh, uh, meeting. Okay, we're going to have an event. This in the, is this an event. We're expecting 50 to 100 chiropractors to show up to this event. Nobody likes to be the only one, which is why it's difficult for you guys to get bookings. One of the first things they ask is how many other people are doing this? How many other people are getting results with this? So why don't you put that in a message? <laughs> like, yo, we're having an event. We're expecting 100 to 200 chiropractors or personal trainers to show up. Don't miss out on this event. We're going to show you exactly how to do whatever the content says is going to fulfill. So now they're going to book themselves instead of you having a freaking setter. They're going to book themselves for an event and they're going to know that they're not going to be the only ones on there. And guess what? You get to use the sheep effect. People like to copy off of other people. So when they see other people buy your stuff on this event, then they're going to want to buy two guys. So that's how you do it. You start with the content that's going to generate the so-called leads to book into an event, a virtual event or a live if you want to do that. But virtual event is scalable. And then you just explain what, you, what you're trying to do one time to the creator's customers. So you have that creator meet you on this live event, this virtual event, and then you can automate that as well. It doesn't even have to be live anymore, right? So you have everybody meet you on there. You guys explain using a formula, uh, giving everybody watching clarity. And that is how your, your growth partner will get massive amounts of sales. And this is why this 39 thousand is not 390,000 or more because they didn't have this system right here. So I just wanted to go over this funnel guys, because I need you guys to understand that business, you know, they love saying you're only one funnel away and funnels are not the devil. And it's a lot of funnels that occur naturally and everything like that. But I need you guys to understand that you don't, it's not a necessity. You don't have to have a drawn out funnel 
You don't have to nurture everybody and all of that when you've already created years of freaking content. Like, why? Why do you need to give them more of your time? You're just desperate to be a slave, right? Like, I, trust me, I was locked in it too, okay? So, no mas, no mas.